You already know it's your boy Dave East and Drea O is everywhere you go. What up everybody, it's your girl Drea O and as you know I'm everywhere you go and right now I'm sitting down with the critically acclaimed Dave East. Drea, what's good mama? How are you? I'm good. So I'm originally from Chicago, but as soon as I touched down in New York, mm -hmm. you're the only name that I heard over and over and over again. So I'm like, let me check out this Dave East fella. And I, I Googled you and I was really blown away by everything that I saw. That's dope. And the first thing that I saw, because, you know, people are visual, I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, he's really, really handsome. Oh, thank you. Do you use that to your advantage? I don't know. Do you take advantage of that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going be chilling. Because not all these rappers are, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a few funny it's a looking rough. dudes. And then you're really tall. Mm -hmm. And everybody's really short. So you kind of just, like, stand out. So you have that. It level. helps. Does it? Yeah, it helps. <laughs> so talk to me about your movement. Like, Ever since then, it's snowballed, and now it's like crazy, mm -hmm. and it's babies everywhere. So talk to me about that. It's just, honestly, um, it's picking up. You know what I mean? I got a good team around me right now, and I feel like the um, the sound that I always loved and the sound that I always wanted back around is coming from somebody new. I feel like they're picking up on it. I mean, for a minute, I thought I was going to have to really find that one club zone or that, you know, that, that other sound, that's, that sound that's winning. But I just stuck to what I was doing the whole time. I mean, and they really starting to pick up on it. Definitely. Um, I actually saw a collaboration that you did with the artist that I'm working with named China Mac. And Mac, it just dropped yeah. today. Yeah. He's uh, locked up right now. He actually just recently got locked up. Damn, okay. I know. But I saw the video that you guys did. So how have you been with other people in New York? Like, are you guys collaborating? Are you kind of like doing your own thing? Are you... Um, I'm not opposed to working with nobody in New York, but like... It's really like based off the relationships I be having with dudes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really the friendliest city. <laughs> you know what I mean, so a lot of a lot of times, like if you don't really cross paths, you might you ain't gonna have a problem with them. But a lot of artists, I don't we don't really cross paths too much. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of the um the older dudes and the the dudes I was really influenced by and looking up to, they they all reached out and we all got relationships. So as far as the city go, I be I feel like I'm in a good zone, a good space with the artists I work with. Definitely. So I saw you say in an interview that um, ball was your plan A, because obviously you're 6'5", mm -hmm. and um, rapping was kind of your plan B. Do you have any regrets about decisions that you made in the past, or do you think that everything happens for a reason? No, I don't got no regrets at all. I feel like everything I'm doing right now was based off of everything I went through. And I just see the way everything is just flowing so natural, like this is, this is what I was supposed to be doing. I mean, with ball, after a while, I started feeling like a job. I, I ain't want to wake up and have, I ain't want to go run. I mean, with this, it's nothing I really don't be wanting to do. And then the stuff that I really don't want to do, I let my manager do. I mean, he, I, <laughs> that way ain't no whole lot there. I mean, so it's, it's, it just feel natural. You know what I mean? It just, it's, it's nothing forced. It's just come, I mean, it's my everyday who I am already. I'm just rapping. Definitely. So <clears throat> living in New York City, um, a lot's going on with the police all over the world in Chicago and New York and all over. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been a victim of police brutality? Have you ever ran into anything like that? And what are your thoughts on everything going on with the violence? Not brutality, but harassment. No, you know, harassment? Yeah. Can you tell me any specific stories? Um, it's NYPD. Like anybody that got any memory or any... any if you're familiar with them at all, you know what they're about. You get what I'm saying? So I don't... Um, really want to speak too much on it because I still run into them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I want to keep it love, man. Shouts to them. <laughs> yes, and you're also Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. So talk to me about your thoughts on what's going on in the world with uh, the Muslim topic and Donald Trump and his comments. Um, I know. I don't really pay that no mind. Like He a clown to me. <laughs> so he got a toupee. Like, he a clown. But I don't really, that's that's just, I mean, at the end of the day, he's speaking on the way of, I, I, I feel like a million people feel like him in America. But I don't look at it that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my look on Islam and me being a Muslim is my own, what I'm doing. I don't even get in tune with whatever they try to line up with Muslims. You get what I'm saying? They always try to throw that in the same boat with a lot of the stuff that be going on in the world. But I just try to block it out because I know what Islam is about. You know what I'm saying? And I know why I have it in my life. So I ignore Donald Trump. <laughs> How long have you been um, Muslim? Um, a couple years now. Okay. Yeah, and what years. made you convert? 
just um just a lot of I'm I'm the type of dude that really needs some type of discipline, like some type of thought in the back of my mind. Like growing up it was always my mom, you know what I mean? I would maybe I wouldn't go make that move knowing she'd kill me if she found out I did that. <laughs> so with with Islam, it's a law, you know what I'm saying? A law I got him anytime I feel like I might I'm not moving right, I got him right there telling me. You get what I'm saying? And it's just I was around a lot of Muslim dudes, a lot of my family Muslim. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of summers back and forth in Philadelphia. So that whole culture there was really, I mean, Muslim. My manager Muslim. Um, I just was, it was, it was, it was influenced on me when I got locked up. My cell was Muslim. So I just seen the ways of it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I would benefit from and from it in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Just as far as my mental and my focus. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So you are um, affiliated with Nas, obviously. Mm -hmm. it's um, talk to me about the things that you've learned from him so far. I know it's a new relationship, but what's the most important thing that you've picked up from working with a legend like Nas? Uh, musically or just in life? In life. Stay low. Stay low. Mm -hmm. Break it down to me. Just, just don't, 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 uh... Don't be flashy? Don't wear yourself thin. Don't be, you know, don't, don't give yourself to everybody. You get what I'm saying? In this, in this game, with this music, as your buzz build, I'm seeing it every day. Everybody wanna, you know what I mean? Everybody wants some type of way of getting next to you. So you gotta be able to pick and choose with that because you can weigh yourself down. Yeah, uh, definitely. Okay, so what about musically? What's the most important thing he taught you? Kill. <laughs> Tell my story and just kill. Like, you get what I'm saying? Just he, he was already a fan of what I was doing, so it's not really like he gave me too much musical advice. It's just he more excited about records he wanna do and what he's trying to get out with me, you get what I'm saying? So I think I, I met him at a point where I had already kind of had my sound and how I'm going to rap and all of that. So the real advice I get from him, I get it listening to his music, you get what I'm saying? When we talking, it'd be more about life, you get what I'm saying? Or I'll send him records and he'll just be like, yo, that's crazy, like, that I inspire what he's doing. I mean, we inspire each other, so it's, it's beautiful.